So children, so far you have seen about the reactivity of metals in our previous classes, and so different metals have different activity. And you know, metals are electro positive in nature, unlike non metals. Non metals are electro negative in nature. So electrochemical series or simply EMF series and it is also called as electromotive series. Previously it was called as electromotive. Electromotive series. Actually it is the arrangement, it is the sequence of different elements. Elements, I mean metals as well as non-metals. In this series, there is the arrangement of different metals and non-metals or elements in order of increasing oxidation tendency or decreasing reduction potential value. So, it is defined as the arrangement, arrangement of different elements, arrangement of different elements in terms of increasing increasing values, increasing values of reduction or increasing values of oxidation. So, it can be taken in both ways and it is nothing but the arrangement of different elements, metals and non-metals. So, from top to bottom, you may say, from top to bottom or vice versa. It can be in ascending order or it can be in descending order. So the point is that why this series, why the electrochemical series, why the EMF series, why the electromotive series is important for us. Now it is because children as you know there is the increasing value of reduction or there is increasing value of oxidation. So, it is there to have the comparison for the knowing the comparative reactivities. This series has been you know given for comparing the reactivity series or the tendency to lose the electrons. You know oxidation, what is oxidation? The loss of electrons, loss of electrons is called as oxidation. You know, gain of electrons is called as reduction. So, by comparing this, we are able to know which metal is more reactive, which non metal is more reactive. So, this is a very simple point. So, uh, before explaining more, I am going to uh, tell what is the importance. So, importance, importance or applications or application. So, by using this series, we are able to know the tendency to undergo oxidation or reduction. So it can be taken in both ways. When see, when an element has strong tendency to undergo oxidation, it means an opposite sign, the element will be very difficulty in undergoing reduction. It means the oxidizing agents, for example, if an element is oxidizing in nature, so it will be very poor reducing in nature. If an element is very strongly reducing in nature, it means it will be very poorly oxidizing in nature and so this is there. 
now children next point about the comparative study about the you know, value so children you have seen in the previous lecture that we use a standard electrode or reference electrode to find out the reactivity or the exact potential or you know a standard electrode potential you know this a standard electrode potential is the ease of the reactivity ease with which an element gains the electrons or loses electrons so we incorporate we will apply here actually this is not important when we don't have the standard electrode potential values and you know electrode potential values it can be terms of oxidation potential or it can be terms of reduction potential so for the reference i have written the uh, values for some of the elements now see first here fluorine gas this is the you know reaction how the reaction takes place so fluorine you know fluorine is most powerful oxidizing agent you have this idea and so fluorine gas f2 gas gains two electrons to form the chloride ion so it will be in the reduced form and so see here it's the standard oxidation potential or simply the standard you know potential value or the standard potential here it is plus 2.87 volt so it is measured in volt so here we write so here this is the standard oxidation potential value of the fluorine it is plus 2.87 volt and this is the reason that fluorine is most powerful oxidizing agent and you know the reason why it is so because the size of fluorine is very small size of fluorine atom is very small and it has very strong tendency to gain the electrons and so the plus value indicates that it has very strong tendency children plus value plus sign indicates very strong tendency so it is here so coming to next this cobalt ion the cobalt in the oxidation state of plus 3 it will gain an electron it will form cobalt 3 and here it is plus 1.18 volt and you know cobalt 3 is also very strongly oxidizing in nature now coming to permanent ion this mno4 mno4 ion permanent ion under acidic medium it will gain five electrons here acidic medium it will form the mn2 ion aqueous and you know it has pink color mn2 is colorless you know this this is the reason behind the oxidizing character of the permanent ion actually the permanent ions here with this mn it has oxidation state of plus 7 and so plus 7 you know it gains the electrons 5 electrons and here it is 2 plus now here it is plus 1.51 volt now children as i have said in the previous part so most of the elements they have been arranged here here I have the step and I have it, it is next important it is the hydrogen and you know hydrogen electrode reference electrode it is used to find out the standard electrode potential of any element so now coming to hydrogen molecule hydrogen molecule it has two atoms it will gain the two electrons and then the formation of two H plus signs and so see here it is 0, 0.0 or there is no deflection in the world meter and so this can be used in other way also you know this 
in the electro motive series here the value is zero so hydrogen can be used in place of oxidation half cell as well as it can be used in place of reduction half cell now again coming to this sodium ion the sodium ion will gain an electron to form sodium atom and here it is minus 2.71 volt minus 2.71 volt here sodium so the point is that sodium very easily now here they are getting the electrons here it is also getting the electrons but here it is very you know minus value indicates here calcium calcium two electrons to form calcium atom here it is uh, 2.87 volt potassium here it is minus 2.93 volt lithium here it is minus 3.05 volt now here i have drawn the arrow downward here i have drawn arrow upward so children here it indicates the decreasing decreasing tendency decreasing tendency of oxidation from top to bottom or on moving from top to bottom in the electrochemical series the tendency of oxidation decreases here this series has been arranged in order of this decreasing oxidation potential values so there will be some opposite children also when the oxidation tendency decreases or when the tendency to undergo oxidation decreases so what will happen opposite process or we can say or increasing tendency of reduction there is an increasing tendency of reduction and so this is lithium lithium it has value of minus 3.05 volt it means lithium is most powerful reducing agent coming to them potassium calcium sodium you know all the metals they are very reactive even they react with the water sodium catches fire you know sodium catches fire why because of this tendency calcium floats calcium floats on the surface of water due to this tendency so this is one aspect is there now coming to the point here the there the decrease in the value of oxidation so here the oxidation tendency increases there is increase in the tendency of oxidizing character and so opposite the there will be decrease or we can say decrease in the value of reduction this is very important part now coming to next point children so here if the this is the let try of the oxidation potential value so the opposing point here the reduction it is it will be you know minus 2.87 volt so the oxidation potential values and the reduction potential values they are same in magnitude but opposite in sign similarly here lithium it is here the oxidation potential value is this let this be sodium so here if it, if it if the oxidation is this so its reduction will be what plus 2.7 here it will be plus 2.87 volt so the point is that the oxidation potential values and the reduction potential values are same in magnitude with opposite in sign now the last part of this lecture children so if we write here this 2x it will gain two electrons and here s2 
Yes. So here, but we not vary. We not vary you. Two H V right means three. Two S two. It will be zero point zero volt. On the other hand, here H two gas forms two H ions plus two electrons, and here this H ion H ion S two H ion it will zero point zero volt. So here it has undergone you know reaction the gain of electrons. Here it has undergone oxidation. So the potential have same value. The point is opposite in sign. Now this electrochemical series it is able to explain the reactivity of any element. We have seen the galvanic cells. So here E cell. E cell, EMF of cell, EMF of cell, E cell is equal to E standard right minus E standard left cell. And so here if E cell is positive, then reaction, reaction takes place. If E cell is negative, no reaction takes place. And so this is the comparison. How we are able to use the electrochemical series or the EMF series to find out the reactivity of different elements. And so this gives very important point, very important tool to understand and explain the nature and behavior of different elements. So, we take the salt in case of fluoride ions, we take the salt of any compound which can provide the fluoride ions. So, by passing the current, the liberation of fluorine gas or any gas, sodium metal is imported. So, similarly, uh, we incorporate this and so this is about the importance or the applications of this EMF series or electrochemical series or EMF series.